Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a AutoCAD tutorial series in English, and this is its second lesson. And our previous lesson, I have shown you that how we'll install, uh, download, and install our software. And in this lesson, I mean in lesson two, I will show you that how we'll use page setup, and I, I mean how we'll do page setup, and uh, how we'll modify our dimension style for different types of parameters. So let's start. And uh, if you're new in my channel, then you can watch the another video about civil related. Uh, the link are given in description. So let's start. First of all, we'll open our software AutoCAD. So after opening our AutoCAD software, here is our AutoCAD software. Uh, I'm using AutoCAD 2013 you can use any version but the main thing is I mean uh, almost every parameter are same so first of all when will you when you will open AutoCAD then it should be like that uh, here the interface they have many option drafting and annotation this is good for modern use and this is for AutoCAD classic uh, here I mean or like as AutoCAD 2007 like that then has 3d modeling but we'll use here AutoCAD uh, drafting and annotation it's okay then uh, when you open this file I mean this this sitting toolbar will be not available here so mm, suppose it will be like that so by clicking here you have to show maneuver so you have to use that maneuver and after that by clicking here so by clicking here hardware acceleration you have to one hardware acceleration for a smooth work when you use app used I am using that but when you use hardware acceleration it will work as a, a smooth software so after that uh, first of all we'll go for our unit setup so uh, from so uh, first of all you can go here here uh, dimension sorry format from here format then upper format you have to go here unit so here unit now you have to change some parameter from here according to requirement suppose uh, the length type which types of length you want to use there have four options uh, basically as engineer we use engineering but uh, they have some two difference in uh, for decimal it will be just a number it will be just a number for decimal and uh, for scientific frictional and here the main two value are architectural and engineering so if we use engineering it will show you the value like a uh, point uh, after a point so you will get value after a point but uh, if you use architectural you are showing here the it will give a value like divide I mean fraction value so I will use engineering and from here the unit to a scale instant constant so here is the important thing which types of unit you want to use and here is another thing for uh, this is a decimal if you use sorry if you use decimal from here if you use decimal I if I click mouse here so you can see that uh, it's showing set current format of the unit the value include architect decimal engineering frictional and scientific the engineering and architectural format procedure fit and if I zoom that procedure feet and inches display and assume that is drawing unit represent in on inch the other format can represent any real world unit okay so for our if we want to use a uh, meter centimeter then we can use uh, decimal and for feet inch we can use architectural 
some architectural and from her precision sorry precision uh, here the precision will be like uh, I mean how much value you want to get after your point so I will click here and here is the important thing here who is value I mean who is value just you want to take who is value you want to take now suppose if we if we are selecting ins that means when we will input a value and will not give any notation like for feet sign or inches sign that you will it uh, the autocad will consider that as a ins okay so from here you can use any one but as we are using engineering that we have to use only ins or feet and if if we select decimal then then we can we can select any value so okay then it will be like a same decimal degree and here precision should be zero then press here okay so we have completed our unit setup like that we will be able to use our unit setup I mean page setup so after that we will go here diamond uh, sorry format and here dimension style so if we use dimension style so from here uh, we will use dimension style when we will work in our next video so suppose we will click here standard and from here we have to go modify so there have many options this for line and this for that line if we use here if we click that um, we can give here baseline spacing we can give here the value so if we give here i mean fixed length extension line so if we click here you are seeing that uh, if i zoom that so you are seeing that here if i untick that so it's uh, showing that it's uh, it will take distance and distance line from the s uh, i mean with respect to that line but if we click here so it's showing that it will take in some specific short line like that and you can increase that line from here and after that if we symbol and arrows symbol and arrows means here symbol and arrows so what is that here is a, you are seeing that here is an arrow here is a arrow so what will be that there's the um, arrow uh, will be increase or decrease here arrow size you have to give her the arrow size so i will use that when i will work and after that here fit text then fit uh here text here is it that text what will be the size of that text you have to give her text height you can also give the color of text okay so like that you can give the text size so here and here is the important thing first of all you have to come here uh, when you open that uh, modify dimension style standard so primary unit and you have to give the unit you have used in your unit setup so engineering and here two okay like that you have to select that option and uh, from here apply to layout dimension only degree you can change here degree but uh, just only use that two option and here is a another option round off round off means uh, this this will show you if you use if you use 0 0.0 0, 0 0.0 that it will show you the exact round value okay and if you enter the value 0 0.25 and you are seeing here it's showing set rounding rules for dimension measurement for wall dimension types except angular if you enter a value of 0 0.25 wall distance around to be nearest 0 0.25 unit and if you enter the value of 1.5 wall dimensional uh, distance are rounded to the nearest integer so like that you have to give her the value I think it's clear to you so 
it's nothing to do it should be default and just you have to change that to option then you have to press ok and obviously you have to click here set current then close so in that way we can draw our uh, page setup and dimension styles after that if we draw a line suppose i will use ortho mode i'll show you about a b tools from here in our lecture tutorial so i think you will be stuck with me so okay now if i see the linear from here linear linear if i see the distance click first point and click last point and if i go here so you are seeing that it's showing very little size of arrows and also text so if we go here again format dimension style modify and here a uh, text so if i increase that text size we can give text size suppose on ins okay and uh, from here arrow we can give is the arrow size on ins then press okay then set current close so you are seeing that it's have increased it have increased here and also you can change again increase or decrease that and here is line we can change that here dimension style a standard modify from here line you can use your fixed line so it's also on ins so if we click ok set current close it's uh it, it have been it's uh, it's increased and then if you again go here dimension style modify and from here if we sorry we have to click here so fixed length extension line and you have to give the line dimension so it's on ins you can increase you can decrease then press ok set current close so you're seeing that uh, it's not adjusted with the line so i think it's clear to you and in our next video i will show you a different thing about autocad so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video